SMT Nation, We Back Nation. I uh, want to do this video coverage with you guys here. I took some photos of some tower sites and I took some screenshots of some speed tests and I ran some speed tests. And what I wanted to do was kind of give you my initial, initial, uh, I, I don't know, first impressions of Verizon's uh, 100 megahertz bandwidth of C band N77. And it's been pretty good. I want to I want to share the results, you know, here from the first 24, 48 hours of testing it. And uh, you guys can kind of tell me what you think of the performance. And I'll give you guys all the details of the testing, kind of the conditions and, and all the details. All right. So um, I post all this stuff to my Twitter account. So I should say X, my X page. If you guys want to follow me there, my handle is in the description. Also in the description. The real SMT buy me a coffee link. Want to support your creators directly? You can buy us a coffee. There's other ways to support us too. They are in the description. Also, if you're looking for a good deal on your wireless service, you want to save some money, check out our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the green fox. He can save you green dollars. All right, using our partner link, mintmobile.com forward slash need. Take advantage of the deflation promotional pricing. I still see that it's active. If you use our partner link, you'll be supporting the channel and saving yourself some money. Switching is super easy. They'll expeditiously send you out a SIM card, or you can make it even easier and activate an eSIM. Super easy to do and very quick. Check them out, Mint Mobile. All right, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you one of the worst speed tests that I have seen over the last couple of days since Verizon has gone 100 megahertz of N77 C-band. All right, so this is this is one of the worst tests I've seen. All right, 522 down, 86 megabits on the up, 45 ping, 8 jitter. Loaded latencies are at 615 and 356, respectively, for downlink and uplink. And uh, that's that's pretty good <laughs> for for the worst test. Uh, it's it's really nice. I mean, if you're on edge cell, you can obviously have less throughput, but this is basically a high usage site. Uh, within this neighborhood, there are quite a bit of, you know, 5G home internet users. And this was taken right around peak time. You know, it's around dinner time, 6, 7 o'clock. And, uh, you know, this is the performance on 100 megahertz in a Samsung radio gear market. Now, you might be in a Verizon market that uses Samsung, like Ohio uh, or New York. Uh, but in some markets, Verizon also utilizes a different vendor in Ericsson. And Ericsson markets have the ability to actually utilize more bandwidth, right? So you might see like uh, 160 megahertz of spectrum there or something like that. So the throughput potential might actually be higher, right? So long as you got 10 gig fiber circuits, you know, you can obviously get the best, you know, performance and throughput uh, based on the available spectrum. So the, I'm kind of restricted. Uh, we're waiting for, I think, a software update to get pushed out to the Samsung radio gear, to the radios, and then, you know, we'll see some additional, you know, bandwidth there. Don't forget, you got to have the right phones, too. You know, you can't have, you know, an iPhone 11. You ain't going to connect to this stuff. You know, you can't have a Samsung Galaxy S20. You know, um, you got to have some upgraded hardware, you know, a newer iPhone, a newer Galaxy, you know, that sort of thing. But the, like, I, like I was saying, folks, this is one of the slower tests that I've seen. Now peak here's what i've seen like this this was a test taken at 6 49 in the morning all right uh the difference here is that there's just not that much usage all right so i'm assuming that quite possibly if i would have tested this site an hour earlier maybe i would have saw gigabit speed right but i got 902 down i got 138 megabits per second on the uplink 44 ping Four jitter, we have 454 and 85 respectively on the download and uplink latencies. Now the 902 megabits downlink is impressive. Right? I think that's very good. Uh, who knows? You know, maybe there's more potential throughput depending on usage. Maybe if I test it earlier. But I think what's most impressive is the uplink. the The C band uplink is absolute magic. Now I'm pretty close to the tower site. I'm probably like a quarter mile away but i wanted to show you guys kind of what the peak throughput can be on a on a site on 100 megahertz of n77 
Uh, here's a test that I ran right after it. I got 979 down and 123 up. All right, so ping times look good. Latency, you know, looks good. The jitter is low. Downlink throughput, very good. And, and the uplink, super impressive. You know, so this is good stuff. And, and indoors from about a mile away on the main level of my home, I'm getting like five, 600 down. You know, I'm getting like 50, 60 up. You know, upper level, you know, I'm, I'm doing pretty good too. I'm getting, you know, 700. You know, uh, uh, on the downlink, I'm getting about 70 or 80 on the uplink, right? So you're able to maintain some really good throughput, even with some range, even with you being indoors. It's really good. And it works in my lower level too. I get like 250 down and 30 up. It's really impressive stuff. All right. What do you guys think? All right. Now, I, I'm not comparing this to any, any other network. I'm just showing you guys my preliminary testing. This is on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. 100 megahertz of N77. What do you guys think? Is it good? Is it meh? Uh, is it great? What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You know, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.